In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called arc length and central angle measure. We're given a question here about a circle with radius 17 meters. We're asked to find the link S, which is the arc, intercepted with a central angle of 132 degrees. We're asked not to round any of the intermediate computations and to round our final answer to the nearest tenth. So starting with a sketch here of a circle, I can say that the central angle here of 132 degrees looks something like this, and our radius is 17 meters, and we have a formula for arc length. We use the variable s to represent arc length, and we say that s is equal to the radius r times the central angle theta. However, the central angle must be in radians. So as long as we have the central angle in radians, we can take that central angle, multiply by the radius, and we will have the length of the arc that's being described, which again is just the distance that far around that circle here with a radius of 17 meters. So plugging in our values, we're looking for the arc length S, and we know that it's equal to the radius here, which is 17 meters, and we are multiplying the 17 meters by the central angle theta, but it has to be in radians. And we were given our central angle here in degrees, so we'll need to convert degrees to radians, and we can do that with a conversion factor that says 180 degrees is pi radians. So in one step here, I'm inserting theta, but also converting it to radians. And we can see here that this is going to cancel the degrees. We can put all of this into a calculator, including pi. Our units will be now meters, which makes sense for the length of an arc to be in meters. And in my calculator, I will just put 17 times 132 times pi divided by 180. My units are meters. Doing this calculation and rounding to the nearest tenth of a meter, we have 39.2 meters as the length of the arc, 132 degrees around that circle with a radius of 17 meters.